All right, guys, it's Team 3 Star. I'm back with another One Piece Bunners video. Today, we're looking at uh, EX Luffy. Shout outs to Rage for giving me the gameplay content, whatever we want to call it. Um, he did send me some Luffy, so if you haven't checked that out, you can kind of see how Rage plays. Uh, it'll be either in the description or it'll, it'll just be up in the channel. Um, so, you know, once again, uh, you know, shout out to that guy for letting me, uh, you know, for sending me this, this uh, gameplay. Um, but like I said, we're looking at uh, EX Luffy today. See how well he does in this meta, because. Yeah, I think it's been maybe a year since he's dropped. If I can't remember, if I can remember correctly, maybe even two. Um, I'm not too sure. I can't really remember. Um, but this guy used to be such a menace, like super super powerful unit, and nowadays he's honestly I don't think he's that strong anymore because his skills are pretty like easily dodged. Um, that might just be me though personally. Um, I have fought a couple of really good EX Luffy's that actually fucked me up. So you know this guy can still pack a really really big punch on you if you're not uh, paying attention but if you are it'll be kind of you know easy to fight him in, in that regard but he's still really strong a bunch of uh, uh invincibility so like i know a lot of people talk about how big mom is probably if not the best unit in the game right now uh her having like three invincibilities at that point uh this guy has two and uh it's still really strong so and that's just something to know as well uh looking at his metal set though we're rocking a little bit of a skill one cooldown this is like the roger eight metal set i remember this used to be super fucking meta when uh brawl first came out and roger came out just spamming commissari which is pretty interesting I, I honestly would think that you would rock probably just like attack uh increasing uh metal but this is a pretty interesting though so for the percentages we have 3.8k uh, or you know, 3 3008 uh for health attack is 917 and even the 696 a little bit of everything which is pretty good um in my book obviously i'm a big big fan of attack and defense nowadays but i think this is pretty good um for the metal set though like i said we're rocking little roger uh blue shanks and green rayleigh so that's all skill one cooldown when you kill somebody um right now uh, we're looking at the metal set like i said um the tags the one of them gives you a uh, Increase dam or reduce damage by 10% when allies are not near the treasure. After KO an enemy, you get the cooldown. Um, a skill one by 24% in total, which is really, really uh, strong if you can kill a lot of people. Um, and then uh, that's honestly about it, I think. I think the only uh, uh, tag that they have is, um, is is that one, I think, actually. I'm not too sure. For the Roger Metal, though, um, we have uh, defense, attack, and HP. 18, 14, 14. For Blue Shanks, we have uh, HP, Attack, and Defense with the 14, 18, and 14. And then Green Rayleigh is 18, 18, eight, uh, 14, sorry, for Attack, HP, and Defense, which is pretty high. It's good, really, really good percentages uh, for this metal set. Um, looking at the skills, though, like I said, uh, this guy, he can, he's like the first unit to transform, if you will, if you really want to call it that. Um, so in his normal state, you know, he has his regular normal, which is normals are actually still really good uh, at, when he's in base form, if you want to call it that. Uh, really, really good still. Um, but he has a Snake Man transformation and a Bounce Man transformation, if you didn't know. Uh, when he turns to Snake Man, it, the, any skill that turns him into each gear uh, is invincible. For Snake Man, it's like super range. Um, I think it gives him like a speed buff or something, but he turns into a runner. So when he's a runner, I believe he gets a couple cap speed uh, traits going on there. Uh, and then for the Gatling, it's a bunch of stun. Uh, and then with the stun, the last hit's going to knock you back. So his whole shtick when he's a Snake Man is to knock you back and get the flag. Which, honestly, I feel like he does need a little bit more cap speed to be really, really be considered a runner. Since he does start as, a, as an attacker. Um, that just might be me. Uh, maybe, like, metal sets and all that will give you more cap speed and that would be better. But I don't think he's that, that great as a runner. Because even at Snake Man form, he still hits really hard. <laughs> um... But then when he goes into Bounce Man, that's when he becomes a fucking menace because this guy has Tremor, he has Stun, uh, he hits like a truck. Um, you know, when he transforms into Bounce Man, it's, I think it's like medium to large, long range, uh, a King Kong gun that he does. And then after he does that, it Tremors you, so then you can pop out skill two, hold it down, Stun, Stun, Stun. The last hit's gonna hit him really fucking hard. Um, the skills actually have a, uh, the, the, the skill two. Um, both of them have really, really long cooldowns, like 41 second for um skill one i think um so that's why it's actually good to use the skill one cooldown set um and then another thing that you do have to know for this unit even if you're in base form your skills automatically start cooling down anyway so like let's say you went from bounce man you use your skill two, then you go back into base form then go to snake man that bounce man skill the skill two that you um you know that you already used it'll be back by the time you turn back so that's actually really good that they did uh for this unit uh 
I honestly didn't expect it, but it's a really, really good thing that they did that. So you can have cooldowns uh, while you're fighting in whatever form you want. So that'll be also really good. And going with, uh, you know, a lot of reasons why I've seen a lot of people say that uh, cooldown metal sets aren't really that good for him. But I think skill one is actually still pretty good because you can switch between gears pretty quickly. Um, and then, so like I said, he, uh, he just... He hits really hard <laughs> this whole thing another thing that you do have to note this luffy actually is susceptible damn to uh status but it's only under a specific hp threshold raised didn't put it here so i can't really remember i think it's like 80 percent or lower you'll get hit with status so i remember like when peros barrel came out um you know every time he got stunned you have a chance to get candied he used to cook this luffy a lot because of that so that's just something else to note as well so you do have to be a little bit careful um you're getting stunned uh candy uh, a flame uh incinerate but he does heal on fixed damage is still really good so incinerate doesn't really do that much to him um as well as any fixed damage like the hot gatling from oni luffy for example that won't do a shit to you um so that's just something else to note as well um looking at rage's percent uh party power should i say uh he's rocking uh split support again um if you can read that correctly it should be 140 is that 146 yeah 146.3 uh with sober mask on the side which i'm so i'm really surprised that the guy's doing a split support I, I know this guy likes split support a lot but once again i'm not the biggest fan um like i said for his uh support he's using a couple of free to play options since this guy actually doesn't will at all he's not like me uh like adio for example is on his support rebecca's on his support um you know those type of units that you rare, rarely see on support but they do work for what they are um for his tags though he's rocking uh for the full tags it's Star hats new world and worst gen with a little bit of attacker uh paramecia captain runner defender and grand line so like i said it's just really interesting seeing uh you know the like free to play uh, quote unquote team that if you want to call it that uh team using this unit that's not the strongest but he still is you know really really strong uh, and see just how good this guy is because this if anything gives you more of a realistic uh showcase in my eyes compared to somebody that has like 170 almost 180 type support you know um because this just shows you like a lot of the player base is going to be at this level instead of you know like 170s or whatever which is also still pretty cool to see like the really really overpowered characters but that's not what i'm striving for <laughs> um so i will be doing uh, commentary like i said but i'll probably record it a little bit after this comes up um just because it's pretty late over here so <laughs> yeah that's another thing as well um like I said, this, this Luffy's still really strong. I don't think he's that that great anymore, but uh, this guy can still hit really hard, um, especially using a lot of reds if you're a red main. Even with the release of Big Mom, this guy, his, his age, he, he aged like milk for a while, but then he aged like wine now because he absolutely destroys Big Mom. Um, you know, Big Mom being able to get hit with all those status that he has, Tremor, Stun, uh, except for Knockback. Um, this guy can still hit really, really hard and kill a lot of Big Moms. Um, that I've seen uh, like I said the major thing that sucks about him is he is susceptible to status effect um, him being blue a lot of these uh, green units that drop are actually still really really strong to the top of my head like green shanks film red shanks still bodies this guy um, para sparrow is another one like I said uh, having the stun the candy when you're stunned um, percentage go up so if you're not being smart with this guy and you hold down the skill you'll uh, get candied and you'll kind of die at that point um, those are a couple characters come to my mind. Even Hybrid Kaido can kind of give you run for your money. Uh, invincibility skill, uh, anti heal, which is still really, really you know harsh to get through. <laughs> um, things like that that will uh, mess you up in, in the in the, in the uh, fucking hell. in the uh, in the meantime uh, while you're playing him. So I don't know. That's just my two cents. Uh, he's still really strong. Like I said, he's not where he he was when he first came out. He's not like he used to be the best unit in the game too. But uh, now I feel like he's a lot easier to dodge. Um, that might just be me. I'm used to fighting this guy already. But uh, like I said, a really, really good EX Luffy can give you a run for your money. So watch out for these guys. And hopefully Rage is good. And I will see you guys in the gameplay. All right. So we're on the first match right now. Uh, like I said, we're looking at EX Luffy. We got a little bit of an interesting team, I guess. Uh, I see a Sengoku, Sen which is pretty interesting. I haven't seen a Sengoku in a while. Uh, well, let's see how good this Luffy does, though. Uh, right now, we're going to look at the uh, two the opponents. First, we're going to see what uh, Rage's team has. I saw a lot of Rogers, I think, too, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I'm blind, though. I'll have to... I'll see, we'll see right now if it wants to fucking load. All right, so 
we have two Rogers, yeah, and then uh, one of Zonny Max, wow. <laughs> and then a Blue Shanks with the Luffy. And then we have a Sengoku, two Zoros, and a Kaido. A little bit harsh to fight those uh, units, in my opinion, especially him having those two Rogers. You know, Zoro just kind of fucks him up, so right now. I think he, he's going to pull up to either D flag or mid. So see what it will, he'll uh, he'll be able to do right now. Uh, Shanks using his normals to move around, so then uh, Rage is going to get the uh, first flag, which is fine. Um, Kaido uses invincibility. He tries to use a tremor. He actually hits the Shanks, I think. No, that's a uh, Zoro. Uh, trying to hit the Kaido too, but he missed. He uses charging skill. Um, he almost hit the Zoro as well, but you know he, he got killed by the Kaido or by the uh, Rogers. That's fine. Uh, Kaido hopped off the flag. He's using the normals to move around. Uh, first time I've actually seen that. Waiting for uh, Kaido to hop off the flag. Perfect dodge. Tries to dodge it, but gets hit with an anti heal. Like I said, that's really detrimental to this Luffy. 77k also. Damage is actually pretty pretty good, actually, for being hit by a green. Gets hit with 3k uh, mid uh, invincibility. Gets a meat so the Kaido doesn't get it. And then he's on Snake Man form. Hits him. And it was a 3.6k crit. Normal. Pretty good. Uh, he's getting mid flag back. Or uh, spawn flag just because of Kaido. Uh, I think right now, yeah, he's going to go back to base form. Uh, he's just kind of watching the uh, the players. He sees the Kaido jump. He uses the King Kong gun. Perfect fucking uh, uh, map awareness by Rage. That shit was really, really nice. Uh, gets the Kaido, which is really good. So right now, he's just kind of filling up the flag. It's a little bit weak right now. Uh, no reason to really be pushing right now. Uh, his teammates are almost dead. He goes back to base form, sees the meat, gets, gets it. So he could be at around like a little bit uh, over half health. Uh, gets hit by the Zoro somehow. Uh, 1 HP coming in clutch though. Uh, I thought he would hit the, the invincibility skill. Um, Zoro uses Ashura. He goes into Bounce Man, but um, it didn't hit, so he died to the Zoro. Uh, I'm surprised that Ashura actually didn't hit him though, but it's fine. So right now we're just going to wait for Luffy. Um, nothing too crazy going on. Uh, both teams are missing two player, uh, two fighters. Uh, Team Boost just ended too, so no reason to really tag into Silver Mask right now. Um, especially with Odin coming in right now. Fast, you know, runner and all that, so he should be fine. Um, so right now, just gonna pull back on top. Uh, the Zoro died to the Odin. Once again, watching his map, making sure he, Kaido. He can get the flag too, but he's gonna get tremored anyway. So, uh, 13k, no crit, kills the Kaido. Once again, really, really good map uh, awareness by Rage, which not a lot of people do, <laughs> which really surprises me. Uh, gets spawn flag once again. Uh, m moving with his normals. Um, I think he might go back into base form again. Uh, is he no he's gonna use skill too actually he's gonna hold it down the zoro dodges so he lets it go hits the zoro with the second part of the skill too bait tries to bait dodge i think he did bait in 15k uh damage on him but then green shanks com comes up he gets hit with the griffin slash but he just healed that shit <laughs> knocks him down though so it's fine a perfect dodge uh, hitting him with the normals uh, maybe you can kill him in time but i don't think so uh oh no he did okay nice nice nicely done he almost died to that Shanks, but he got it, and the team won 4-1, so GG's for them. Uh, I saw 6.2k, Shanks got the MVP, that's a Shanks map, what can you do? It's pretty good anyway. Um, let me just pause this real quick. So right now he had uh, 5 kills and 3 caps, pretty good, like I said, just watching your map, because those Kaidos can be really annoying when they're jumping around, uh, you know, getting flags and everything, so... Really, really good stuff from there. Uh, off this match already, he's actually doing pretty well. Um, like I said, the anti heal though, towards the middle, kind of did fuck him up, but he he only died once, so it's it's that was really good still. Um, got a couple got a couple of S pluses here too though, which is pretty interesting. But uh, yeah, six point five, not too shabby. We'll go on to the next gameplay. So once again, we're on Bratier uh, Day uh, right now. Once again, a lot of like really really mixed people. Like I see Whitebeard. Zephyr, which I don't see that much anymore. Dofi, Ulti, uh, Yamato, and uh, I saw Beckman on the other team, so we'll see if they start him. Uh, honestly, I'm the biggest fan of Beckman, but uh, I know a lot of people do like him, so I won't really talk shit. Nah, he's just not my cup of tea. Uh, right now, I'm just waiting for this fucking match to start, though. <laughs> it takes a minute for that to go. Uh, Raid check and charge, 21%. Alright, we got Zephyr, uh, not Max, actually. Whitebeard and Yamato. And then we have a EX uh, Hybrid Kaido. Uh, Kainu, Film Red Shanks, and the Beckman, he actually did start him, so we'll see, uh, how he does in this match. Uh, Akainu is really, really easy for this Luffy to fight, so you can probably see him, uh, rape him, probably. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, he's pulling up to second flag, I believe, probably the smarter way. Let the white beard start charging up his skill. Yep, grab the flag. Yamato's on mid, trying to get it from the, uh, Akainu 
fucks up her uh, counter and then down glitch, which kind of sucks. But he was gonna catch the kind of slacking. He gets hit with the uh, I don't even know what the fuck they call it, Griffin thrust or whatever the fuck it's called from the from Red Shanks. But he's hitting him with the Gatling, but the stupid Zephyr knocked him down. At least he said sorry, so it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, I, I guess. Uh, the Red Shanks teleports though. Rage is almost dead. Nice perfect dodge. Fuck, fucking perfect dodge like his privilege or some shit. Some shit because I didn't get to see the lag going on. Uh, Snake Man hits him with 13k crit. Uh, or not no crit actually, sorry. To kill the from Red Shanks and he got shot by the Vecman. Uh, he's a little like slighting too. I know Rage told me that when his phone is kind of dying or recording. There's a little bit of lag. It's just how it is. Uh, I'll try to fix it on my end but. We will have to just hold it, hold out like that. <laughs> but right now we're waiting for uh, Team Boost. We're looking really good. 4-1. Uh, well, not Team Boost. We're waiting for Luffy. But Team Boost is about to come, though. 4-1 uh, is not too bad. Um, you know, just holding down your flags. Uh, they're about to get the other flag, I think. He goes into Bounce Man. Doesn't hit the kid, actually. I'm, I think he dodged it. I'm not too sure. 11k crit. Or 11k uh, uh, normal attack is kind of insane. I saw that. Uh, drops down. I think he probably did that on, uh, by accident, but... Uh, Caesar Roger, kind of don't want to mess with that right now. Uh, Akainu's pulling up, should be pretty easy if uh, he doesn't get hit with the uh, bat. <laughs> but uh, like I said, the incinerate does heal him, so it should be fine. Uh, attack buff is up. Zoro comes out of fucking nowhere. He goes into Snake Man, hits him with 15k, kills the Zoro, nicely done. And just waiting for the uh, the Beckman to dodge, hitting him with the normals, get him out of there. Uh, once again. It's a kind of just throwing out his skills everywhere. Uh, Rage is almost dead. Nice dodge glitch by him for the, to dodge the uh, Kaido. The Kaido walks into the skill, so he got knocked back. He is anti healed though. Like I said, a really, really annoying thing to have. He was trying to get this home flag with Snake Man, but I think he's just going to wait for Bounce Man. The, see the Kaido dodge, um, but he gets punished because he dodged trying to get him to chase him. So he did die to the Kaido. Um, Kaido's only level 82. Wow. Gonna pop in with Silver Mask though, there's only 33 seconds. Uh, hopefully he can make a fucking miracle happen. I don't think so, but we will have to see. I'm surprised that- Okay, there you go. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm surprised he's not using skill 2 to move. Uh, pops him into uh, invisibility. Um, and he's gonna go for back cap, I think, right now. Hopefully the the, invincibil the invisibility fucking hell, <laughs> uh, stays enough. Yamato caps the flag too, but he's on the back flag. He has a shield up. As long as they can hold it down, he should be able to take it. Yep, kid tried to hit him off, but didn didn't work. Uh, perfect dodge glitch once again, uh, knocks back the kid for the win, 5.9k score, not too shabby once again. Um, let me see, uh, Yamato took the MVP, she did get a pretty good uh, cap towards the end, so it's probably was gonna happen. Um, and right now, let me just pause it again, oh my god, this man rage. <laughs> oh fuck, hold on, I messed up, okay, there you go, uh, no, I lied, okay, there you go. So, uh, 5.9, uh, 2 caps, 3 kills, not too shabby, like I said. This Luffy isn't, you know, crazy, crazy strong, in my opinion, nowadays, but he can, like, as you can see, he can still hold it off, so pretty good stuff there. A lot of variety in these matches, so we'll get on to the next match. Alright, so we're on Dressrosa City for this one. Uh, one of my favorite maps, personally. Um, so right now, we got a little bit more meta off, a, li a little bit. Uh, I see a couple big bombs there. I see a red sob with those pretty interesting and a lot of ulti action today Which is really interesting um, We'll have to see what uh, what the other team uses though uh, If it wants to fucking load again <laughs> fucking hell um, Let's see though uh, one Okay, that's pretty good support though uh, from red shanks two big moms one of them is max one isn't uh, and then we have uh, Usopp Another EX Luffy, the Yamato. I think that was from the last match, actually. And a film Red Shanks as well. So we'll see what they do. Having two big ones on your team is always really good, though. Um, as long as they know what the fuck they're doing. So we'll have to see. Uh, and right now, he's going to go to... I believe that is... B-Flag? Yeah, B-Flag. Um, might just kind of chill out for a bit. Sees the film Red Shanks cap, but he might pop out the invincibility already. Yep. Sees the Usopp, though. Uh, targeting his ass, because he is red, so he might as well. I don't know what the Usopp's doing. He's just kind of waiting for the film red shanks. Pops out skill one though. Hits him. Uh, with pretty good damage though. Usopp. <laughs> that guy still hits really fucking hard. So I was really surprised that they did that much. Um, right now he's just <laughs> not really doing not much. Not, not really doing much right now. Because there's not, nothing to really do. The Usopp is there. But you know he's getting shot with the lasers. So no reason to pop out skill. He uses skill one. Or skill two. Um, to hit the shanks. 
he used the charge skill but you know with the hockey stick you can't you can't uh, target him so he's on one hp so he might want to pull back a bit um that actually hurt a lot though skill one uh punching the uh usab though right in the, uh, right in the chanaz deck him right in the chanaz uh transforming back to base uh just kind of waiting off a lot like i said a lot of the times when you're playing this unit you have to play like this because just how it is a lot of the uh, meta is really oppressing hits the usab with the tremor though um Tries to kill him, but the Femme Red Shanks gets him, so not looking too good right now. Uh, they're down by four, uh, one to four. Yeah, the Shanks did die, though, so it's pretty good. So right now he's going to wait for Luffy to come out. If they can hold that, that flag, I don't know what the Whitebeard's doing. I think it's downed, actually. Um, Usopp is just cleaning house right now. <laughs> uh, he popped Snake Man to kill that Usopp. Uh, I didn't get to see how much damage it was, but it looked like a lot. Uh, which is pretty good, but like I said, the team's not looking too good. Uh, Ulti comes up with the uh, headbutt thing. Not headbutt, but the uh, charging skill. He's using Snake Man, but the uh, Big Mom stole his kill, which is, I guess it's fine. Staying at Snake Man, though, to get this flag. Um, actually, no, never mind. Oh, it's because of Ulti's there, okay. So, uh, Caesar charge up, but he's pretty smart and just uses skill. With oh my god, what was that skill, Ulti? Uh, pops out skill too, though, and then, you know, she just headbutts the wall. <laughs> I guess she was just mad. Uh, but kills the ulti as well, and then we have a uh, Yamato right here charging up skill uh, Actually hits him, but the uh, team boost heal came in clutch tries to go snake man But uh, I think the shanks got the kill which is I mean once again, it's fine getting the flag uh, They're up by four now, so it's pretty good right now The boost up once again is just trying to get him. I think he was trying to hit the shanks, but it's targeting to him Which is fine. Ulti once again coming in he goes into snake man uh, perfect dodge is pretty good uh, You gotta watch out that headbutt skill Turns back to base. Uh, I think he's just gonna wait for the normals. Yep, it hits him with the invincibility and kills that ulti. And right now they're the shanks are getting spawned. Ulti, another one is coming up. Uh, hits her with the stun though before she can do the headbutt. And I think the shanks took the kill, which is kind of sad. I really wanted to see how much damage it did. Uh, Uses snake man, but actually hits the Yamato counter. I thought he timed that right, but it's fine. And they can secure the game with a 5-0. Two seconds left. 7.5. Not too bad. I think that might be MVP. Oh, it's actually not. Well, the, the Shanks did take a lot of kills. <laughs> that was probably why. Um, but let me see this uh, score right now. So, 7.5 with 3 kills, 1 cap. Um, it, the Shanks got 6 kills because he took a lot, <laughs> which is fine. So, that's always something to know as well. Alright, for this next match, is actually a different recording. So, this is actually in Fishman Island. Uh, a little bit of variety in that regard. Um... We're going to get some really interesting matches. There's a Whitebeard on the other team. Another Yamato. <laughs> and then there's a Rayleigh, which I haven't seen in a while. And even a Kainu. Uh, I haven't seen that guy either. So we'll have to see how the team does. Uh, hopefully they can uh, secure this dub. We'll have to see when this game rule wants to load up. Uh, any fucking day now. Uh, okay, there you go. <laughs> um, so there's a party, party power if you're interested in that. Uh, I don't really care about it. So that's <laughs> just me. But we have Rayleigh, Film Red Shanks. No, Blue Shanks, sorry. And a Kainu versus a Film Red Shanks, uh, King Uta, and Whitebeard. So we'll have to see how good he does. Watch out for those uh, tremors, the Sing Sing, um, and then also that Film Red Shanks. So there's a lot of opposing forces, if you want to call it that, that will fuck him up. So we'll, we'll see how, how Rage does this match. Um, I right know, I think he's going to get yeah, the B flag because no one wanted to get it. The King's right there, though. And y'all already know how, how this man Rage hates King. It's like racism shit, so... Obviously, he's targeting him already. Waiting for him to pull up. Um, we'll have to see. I think he's just going to you know, be patient. Wait for this guy to come up. He actually dodged. It's just kind of surprising. I didn't, I'm didn't. i surprised that he didn't like you know capitalize on that. But just looking at the king. Hits him with the tremor. And starts stunning him. And the king is already dead. Fucking hell, man. The, oh, the double kill, too. Actually kills the, old, uh, the Uta. That was actually kind of clean. Uh, but I'm telling you, man. This guy rage has something against king. I don't fucking know what it is. Uh... This guy just must be a racist to fucking sky people. Pops out Snake Man. He actually aimed it perfectly, but the Shanks was down. So right now he's going to use the charge skill. Let's go a little bit early. 16k. Kills that Shanks as well. So pretty good stuff. Hits the Zoro with 5k normal. Um, Zoro did perfect dodge, which does suck. Hopefully he doesn't get tremor. No, he got tremor. <laughs> and he gets hit with Ashra, but the king is here to save the day. Uh, hits the thanks because he actually did save his life. Uh, this Zoro, though, is kind of being annoying. So... Well, let's see. It hits, pops off his ability, and I think he killed... I didn't even get to see what that was. I probably another king. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> uh, right now, he's trying to hit the Zoro, but the Zoro hits the invincibility skill, so... I mean, that's just how Zoros play. 
and then the other ex luffy gets him with the snake man so pretty good stuff there this team is actually really really like clapping the other team they're 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 getting absolutely destroyed right now um i think this shank's about to pull down yeah he pops out snake man um uh, but it didn't matter because he went to the running hockey mode hockey bullshit perfect dodges rage though so he does die trying to use a skill too um but i mean he couldn't really do much he's gonna die regardless i think um so now we're just gonna wait for a luffy they're actually losing right now uh oh never mind <laughs> the luffy got the flag and they're actually getting a back cap with that king i think yep 4-1 uh just kind of holding off flags hopefully they can uh, i think there's other guys waiting for their unit too i think it might have been a kainu uh, like a kind of showcase oh my god a new youtuber or something <laughs> but uh yeah watch the yamato uh she did cap the flag i'm not sure if he's gonna drop down or maybe he's gonna wait for team boost to finish which is pretty smart because that roger is just thirsting for that kill look at him this man's frothing in the mouth for that kill but dumbass wasn't watching his map so he gets killed with a kind of <laughs> uh and then you know rage being toxic sends of thanks <laughs> so right now it's just going back to the yamato i think he's gonna let her get the flag yep go bounce man i actually didn't crush her i thought she i thought he would um i know a lot of people would want to get crushed by yamato but personally i'm more of a bounce man luffy type of guy and there's a lot of uh muscle and fucking flab you can get through so um but the <laughs> the yamato hits the uh, field counter so not looking too good uh rayleigh hits over the knockback rage can get the flag um but they did get the four ones so it's pretty good he actually got a lot of kills here so let's see the mvps this time 5.3 not too bad um and he actually didn't well and i don't know why they kind of was next to him <laughs> i guess they're fucking best buddies now but they kind of got the uh the mvp for that match and we will check out the score right now um 5.3 two caps four kills not too shabby he did get a lot of like combo kills that kill on the uta and i think king like the two and one that was kind of clean so really really good stuff there a uh, good team um like i said pretty balanced for what it is so uh we will get on to the next match i think not much to really say about this one really good shit next one is my second favorite map actually is uh alabasta knight and you might be telling yourself why are you, are you just like fucking around no i genuinely like this map though because playing a lot of status characters you just hit them with status let the tornado kill them and you know you get your win it's pretty fucking fun <laughs> it's really toxic too so my favorite one though is thriller bark though thriller bark is the best best music in it best map easily um but that's besides the point that's my b map bias right now we have a uh, perospero uh green shanks and zoro and then for the other team we have an akainu a uh roger once again another king with his name is king so maybe he's a reroll <laughs> and oven which is pretty surprising uh, to say the least i know that oven's actually really good though so I, I just pulled him recently so i'm really excited to use him i seen uh i think swarly made a gameplay on him and he made him look really good uh king though's coming up probably knows who rage is tries to hit him with the flying skill but he just absolutely destroys the king the king's mad <laughs> but what can you do you have rage the king racist he's gonna target these fucking kings at this point uh and then we have a kainu uh trying to pull out the normals the roger has his charge skill actually hits rage i thought it was a little bit delayed but it's fine i guess he's gonna he should be dead here though yeah roger's still really really problem uh troublesome for this uh this unit uh but he gets candy so that roger should be dead anyway uh right now he's gonna wait for luffy to come back uh there's actually a red runner law too on the other team which is just fucking insane <laughs> i i have no idea why he's there but their whole team are basically wiped the oven is carrying them right now so um still holding down the flag though um for what i'm seeing it's still two three maps going weird um just what it is somebody got candy i think that was marco and i get to see uh no it was oven actually king once again is there rage pops out skill <laughs> skill two because he wants to kill the king yeah then it and then he ends up killing one of them but there's two more um He's trying to get the flag, but the stupid uh, uh, fucking Marco got in the way. Uh, so he's going to grab the other one, I think. Yeah, it's it's, well, it's filled up, though, but it shouldn't take too long. King's coming up. He did waste his dodge, so he's going to get punished for that. Yeah. Um, I think he's either going to go base form or he's going to oh, yeah, dodge that first, base form. Hit the bounce, man. Oh, and that was a clean-ass fucking dodge by the king. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> that was nice. GG to that fucking king. Uh, I thought he was going to get squashed. Uh so damn rage you you, you got you got kind of owned i'm not even gonna lie you got kind of owned you better get your fucking lick back at that point so <laughs> right now we're just waiting for uh luffy to come back that was actually really fucking clean though holy shit um sees a drink though so he's gonna grab the drink and i think he's just gonna pop to mid like you should i think 
Hopefully the tornado doesn't come up. Uh, the king is starting to fly. It's the same one that killed him, so maybe you can kill him. We will have to see two of his uh, allies go down, though. Marco's pulling up. He hits him with the snake man. Then Marco goes down. I'm surprised he already wasted his first life. A kind right there. He hits him with the Gatling. Uh, perfect dodges, though, so he, he let it go a little bit too early, which is, I guess it's fine. Getting heals off that uh, incinerate, though, is pretty nice. Uh, just make sure you watch that Hound Bite. Damn, five, 5k crit on a normal is fucking nutty. Um, Baron Sprouts going to get the flag, which I guess it's fine, but... Uh, the king's coming up. Uh, he's actually down, so thank God. <laughs> Poor king. But the other one's getting fucking socked up now. He started using uh, the Gatling. Uh, the king fucked up. Gets squashed by uh, Rage, but it's not looking too good. I don't think they're going to win this match. Uh, yeah, he gets hit with the tremor by the king, so that should be GG's. 1-4 uh, to four L, sadly. He did get a couple of the kings, though, so... Which is pretty good, but there's just too many to really catch up. And two double Pearl Sparrow against Kings isn't exactly ideal. So uh, right now we have it was a 3.9. Uh, damn, it seemed kind of sold. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the Zoro's Zoro Shanks uh, duo nine 2.9 is really bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> Jesus fuck. And then uh, obviously the other team won with the 7.1k by the King Akainu duo. So pretty fucking good there too. So damn, Rage, that's a fucking skill issue, my good sir. <laughs> but uh, we'll go on to the last match. Um, four kills, though. Not too, not too shabby. Not too shabby. All right. And then for the last one, we have another uh, Fishman Island. Once again, seeing a lot of variety right now. Like Ashra, Doji, and, and Oni. Uh, not Oni. Uh, Orobi. Really, really fucking good. And then Izo makes a fucking appearance. which is also really surprising. Another Marco, too. So that's also something to note as well. Um, nothing too meta-breaking on these teams. Uh, we'll have to see right now, though, how uh, how it goes. Uh, right now, so we have uh, Rage, obviously, using Luffy. We have uh, Odin. Oh, wow. <laughs> 2020. Type B. And then fucking... Oh, not 2020. I think 2021. Uh, <laughs> Odin, uh, Film Red Shanks, and Roger. And then we have the Akainu, the uh, Izo, and the Arobian Green Shanks. So... Letting the green chains kept the first flag, which is fine. Um, there's no defender, so it didn't really matter who would get it anyway. Uh, we're just going to get D flag, though. Make sure you're watching the back back caps for that Orobi, though, because that Orobi is still really fucking good. Uh, she dodges, though, so she gets punished for that. Um, hits the Izo. Uh, Trying to get the double kill, but the uh, Orobi slapped him up right in the, right in the nuts. Uh, but he did kill the Izo, so it's fine. Uh, Normal's trying to hit the Orobi once again, and he's actually almost dead. This guy's getting packed up by an Orobi. That's kind of sad. <laughs> um, but it pops out Snake Man and does kill her with 13k. Uh, hopefully the Shanks lets him cap it. Yeah, good job. Uh, double Shanks action. Oh, no. Single a Shanks action. I thought it was uh, the teammate. Uh, right now he's going to use a Gatling. Let's go a little bit early. Knocks him back. But I think he did kill off of that shit. So, like I said, that, that film right Shanks is still so fucking good. <laughs> he's so good for no reason. Uh, targeting the Doji was not watching his map. So, he does get teleported on the uh, Shanks. Pops up invincibility kind of early, but he actually did get the Shanks mid normal, so it's pretty good. 12k uh, damage, not too bad. Gets the heal from the Marco, which is really good, and defense buff. Uh, Akainu pops his uh, little magma thing. He gets hit with the incinerate, which is probably good, so he does get heals off. Um, team boost hit right now, so he's going to use the uh, a charging up skill. Hits the Doji, um, but the uh, Iza actually saved him, so that's W Iza right there. Uh, using normals to move away. Um, no reason to be fighting right now, I don't think so. You know, Izo is not too much th too much of a threat. He can still hit you really fucking hard, so got to watch out for that as well. Uh, that Doji is actually almost dead too, so if he drops out, maybe he'll be able to kill him. Uh, team boost hits for the other team though, so uh, we'll have to see. He's trying to bait that uh, Izo into fighting him, so <clears throat> just a bunch of mind games. I think at this point, he's just waiting for team boost to finish. So he actually drops down. Uh, Izo dodges, so surprised he didn't pop out Sneak Man or something. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> hit someone's Snake Man because Izo's skills are pretty slow, so catches him off guard with that one. Throws out some normals, throws out the skill, lets go really early in uh, 17k crit, kills the, uh, oh not crit, uh, 17k kills the uh, Izo. So right now this doji's messing everybody up, the fucking goat. Um, Perry dodges the, sli the slice though and the Roger does get him with the skill too. Uh, making sure the Roger stays on this fucking flag so he can get the flag uh, with the cap speed. Um, so we'll have to see there. Other team lost two people so well, then just watching that Roby and making sure she doesn't get any sneaky back cap, it should be fine. Uh, 29 seconds left though. Uh, we'll see what happens. That kind of just got fucking deleted. 
pops out skill two though and hits absolutely nothing. I think that's the Roby right there. Yeah, uh, pops out the other skill two again and actually does kill her. I guess they're looking really good right now. Uh, poor <laughs> from Red, not, not the from Red Shanks. I don't even know who that was, but he got wrecked. Uh, Rage getting the B fuck just to secure the win. Um, shouldn't be in the bag already. Pops out Snake Man just so he doesn't die. And GG's 6.7k score, not too bad. Hopefully he gets an MVP this time, and that he does. Very, very well done for the last one. Get him a nice, nice little MVP. Um, let's see what uh, he got right now, and I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, so right here we have five kills, four caps. Really, really good match. Um, the other team, I'm going to be honest, didn't really stand a chance. <laughs> there was a lot of uh, uh, really meta-breaking units. There was uh, uh, fucking Shanks. Even Roger was got two kills, so I mean, they weren't going to win anyway. <laughs> Especially with Doji on the other on the other team, you know, I really like that unit. He's uh, he's not good. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna call it how I see it. He's not good. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, once again, you guys can let me know what you think about Ex Luffy in the comments. Uh, shout outs to Rage for letting me uh, for sending me this gameplay. So W Man for that. Like I said, this guy Rage has something against King. So uh, anytime he'll send me gameplay, usually probably Luffy's or some shit. Uh, this guy will probably target him. So. Yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think about EX Luffy in this meta. Do you think he's still good? Do you think he's still, like, the apex monster that he was back in the day? Like I said, personally, I don't think uh, he is that way. Uh, I don't think he's that guy anymore. Um, but he can do really good, so I, I'm not going to uh, fault him for being, you know, old or whatnot. Because he's pretty old. I think he's almost two years old now. If not already two years old, so. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about EX Luffy in the meta. Do you guys still use him? Um, like I said, do you guys still think he's really good? Uh, do do let me know in the comments down below. And with that being said, the team three star signed out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh. 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 Hey.